Everybody's going somewhere, and we're trying to find our way. But we get lost sometimes and think we're all alone. We don't know our destination, and we're running in place because of all of the distractions on the road. But he. Is there? And he knows where you belong, and he wants to bring you home. When you're trying to find the path you should take, when you're lost inside the wind and the waves, his voice will break through. He is speaking to you. Ryan, congratulations! I'm so excited that you've decided to go on a mission. I still remember teaching you the, the gospel lessons when you were just a little kid and seeing your testimony grow. You helped my testimony grow with your faithfulness and your want, your desire to learn. I'm so thankful for you. And wherever you get sent, it's exactly where you are supposed to be. And Heavenly Father trusts you with his children. He trusts you with this responsibility to share the gospel and he loves you. I'm so blessed to know you and your family, and Sister Palmer just loves you. Good luck, and may God be with you. Let him help us through it, and decide to feel his love. But we can do it all on our own and follow. Hey Ryan, your mom asked me to make you a short video for you to watch before you open your mission call. Hopefully sometime this week, but um, I was super happy when she asked, and. Um, I just want to start off by saying how proud I am of you, of the choices you've made the past few years to get to where you are. Um, and I, I admire you and your testimony. And your testimony of the plan of salvation. When you don't know where to fasten your gaze, when the world's distractions get in your way, he will be Ryan sought the gospel because his grandma died and he wanted to be with his family he wanted to know more so your testimony and your drive with the plan of salvation is what has kept me strong when you're trying to find the path you should take when you're lost inside the wind and the waves his voice will break um but talking about missions I, when I got my mission call, I opened it and I'm reading it in front of everybody and I read, go to Mex Mexico MTC. I was like, yes, that's where my dad went to high school. This is awesome. Probably going to Mexico or somewhere Spanish speaking. And, um, and then I read California, Sacramento. And I was excited. I was going on a mission, but I don't know. I feel like I kind of started doubting myself a little bit. I doubted how much God loved me, which is so silly. Don't do that. <laughs> but, um, cause everybody and their brother in Utah gets called to Colombia, Mexico, Argentina, Africa, Switzerland, these really gorgeous places. And I got called to California. Well, after I got over myself, I started praying about the people I would one day meet. And, um, And I just felt so much love for in my heart for people I had never even met yet. And so the day I met you and your family, it was one of those moments of your mission that you just know why you're somewhere. And you're gonna experience that a lot. And so no matter where you get called, I promise you, Ryan, that God is gonna show you why you're meant to be there. So don't give up. Keep working hard. Satan's going to push you the next few weeks or when, until you leave. <laughs> so keep being the amazing guy I know you are. And you're going to get called to where the Lord needs you. I love you. Men, the broken hearts. Try the tear filled eyes. When we live the way he lived, there is peace in Christ. He gives us.
storms of life when there's no peace